I am Dr. Shantaram, Senior Consultant Diabetologist at Apollo Greens, Chennai. With 29 years of clinical experience in the practice of diabetes and over 25 years of postgraduate teaching experience in diabetes. Formerly Professor Nechodi, Institute of Diabetology, Madras Medical College and Government General Hospital, HOD and Director, Institute of Diabetology, Stanley Medical College and Hospital, was the 8th Vice Chancellor of the Tamil Nadu Dr. MGR Medical University and a member of the Ethics Committee of the Medical Council of India, Selection Committee, JIPMA Chairman and member of the Academic Committee, JIPMA Pondicherry. Recipient of the Best Doctor Award from Government General Hospital and Madras Medical College, recipient of the Best Teacher Award from the Tamil Nadu Dr. MGR Medical University and the Best Doctor Award from the Tamil Nadu Medical Council. Also recipient of the Lifetime Achievement Award from MV Hospital of Diabetes in Chennai and Apollo Sugars, received the Millennium Doctors Award, KG Hospital, Kowai. Diabetes, a progressive disorder, is a metabolic vasculitis which increases the burden of macrovascular like coronary artery disease, peripheral arterial disease and CVA as well as the microvascular disease like diabetic kidney disease and diabetic retinopathy which places a huge burden on the economy of the country. Projected at 1.95 lakh crores by 2021 which is over six times the healthcare budget of 2018. Not only it places the economic burden on the country, but also a financial burden on the individual and the family, as it accounts for more than 50% of the disposable family income. The cost of treating diabetes without complication is approximately Rs. 3000 to Rs. 8000 per month increasing the duration of diabetes and with the onset of the microvascular complication it is three folds and with the onset of macrovascular complication it is four folds. But more distressing is the increasing prevalence of diabetes at a rapid rate in epidemic proportion with the urban prevalence of 20% and the rural prevalence of 10%. At present India has about 72 million diabetics, which is projected to 134 million by 2030. This is because of the increasing longevity of the patients, rapid urbanization, increasing prevalence of obesity, and higher prevalence of pre-diabetics with a rapid conversion among the Indians, and the narrowing urban-rural divide with 70% of the population living in rural India. Therefore, the need of the hour is to prevent diabetes which is more easy and doable than reversing or preventing diabetes complications. It is therefore imperative that we create public awareness on the risk factors for type 2 diabetes and encourage patients to lose weight to have regular physical activity, to eat healthy, and to practice mind relaxation techniques like yoga, meditation and music therapy to de-stress themselves. Two, to motivate the practicing primary physicians to screen for diabetes and detect diabetes early. Three, to empower the primary care physicians with the knowledge to treat diabetes effectively in accordance with the local guidelines, targeting, individualizing the targets and the therapy. Four, to encourage the patients on the diabetes self-management and monitoring techniques for effective control of diabetes. And lastly, but not the least, is to encourage the family participation in the management of diabetes, which is the theme of this World Diabetes Day in 2018 and 2019, because 
the family members or potential diabetics knowing the risk factors and the signs and symptoms of diabetes will help them prevent diabetes or detect diabetes early also involving them in the patient care will reduce the emotional impact of diabetes in the individual diabetic patients and has been shown to improve the health outcomes in patients with diabetes as i congratulate the doctors on this world diabetes day my key messages to all the specialists is to screen indians less than 30 years of age as diabetes is an asymptomatic disorder in majority at least 95% of the cases and it occurs early in indians to to reemphasize on the lifestyle modification on each and every visit of the patient since lifestyle modification is the mainstay of diabetes therapy and would slow down the progression of the disorder reduce the pill burden and the cost of the therapy three to intensify the therapy to achieve the target levels since we have drugs with low or no risk of hyperglycemia like sglt2 inhibitors dpp4 inhibitors and the long acting insulin analogs and hypoglycemia which is a barrier to good control should no should no more be a concern so on this world diabetes day we know that diabetes is controllable unpreventable it is in our hands before i sign off i would like to inform you that i will post my contents and thoughts on diabetes on this white coat digital platform to stay in touch with you let us join our hands together to fight and prevent diabetes thank you